Good morning, for graders. Good morning. Welcome to the video lesson of the exam of the evaluation. The next week, you're going to make evaluation of three lessons. And today, Mr. Marvin is going to make a review for each one. The lesson one, the topic is the, met the scientific method. The scientific method is the topic. I'm going to read it for you. Scientific method. Number one, ask a question. This is the first thing you have to do. Number two, gather information. Learn the position in the order of each one. Uh, how can we gather information? Observation, listen, taste, touch, smell, read. Form a hypothesis. Form a hypothesis. Test the hypothesis. Doing exper experiments or experimenting the same hypothesis. And the last one is share the results. Share the results. These are the what is a hypothesis it can be a specific with prediction right describes in concrete terms what you expect will happen in a certain certain circumstance this is the definition of the hypothesis scientific method this is the topic the scientific method I'm not going to read I will go to the classwork and I'm going to explain in order what does mean and about what is the evaluation. Okay, classwork. Circle the letter, circle the letter of the best answer to each question below. A guess or opinion will be shared. Uh, will be shared with the scientific community. Cannot be proven. Can form the basis of a hypothesis. Does not need to be tested. Our guess or opinion. Option A will be shared with the scientific community. Very good. Or can be a guess or opinion. Can form can form the basis of a hypothesis. Is the is the number three. Will be shared with the scientific community. Is the result. Sorry, I confused. Is the number three can form the basis of a hypothesis an opinion like a theory what do you think the result when you finish the experiment is the one that you're going to share with the scientific community okay hi 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 number two which of the following will make a good hypothesis and we have four options mr marvin is going to give you four examples of four hypotheses and you're going to choose your favorite of the one you think or you consider is the best, right? Don't complain, it's, it's not gonna be difficult, this part. It's an experiment fail, fails to confirm your hypothesis, what is the next step? If an experiment fails to confirm your hypothesis, what is the next step? Find another solution, make another hypothesis, keep trying the same experiment or use a different theory. If an experiment fails to confirm your hypothesis, what is the next step? What do you think? Can we use another theory? No, because it's the same theory and maybe we can make another hypothesis, right? Make another hypothesis. We cannot keep trying the same experiment because the experiment failed. And find another solution? No, because we need to make an experiment. So. The answer is to make another hypothesis and test it again with other experiments. Write your answer on the lines below. Explain why, why your answer to question two makes a good hypothesis. Okay? But well, don't worry, this question is about the experiment, right? Why, you sh why should a scientist always share the result of his or her experiments? Because the uh, results right of one experiment is the confirmation of one hypothesis it's important to share for example if we are in a science fair and we have three groups or two groups making the same experiment we are going to have the same results but you can share the information it is going to be very interesting to know what's going on with one group and what's going on with the other group doesn't matter if it's the same group the same experiment right so 
can be the three groups making the same experiment, but they're going to share different results. Maybe the time, maybe the color, maybe the volume, maybe the temperature of the liquid, whatever. So they're going to share the results, right? If it's an explosion, for example, one group, the group one is going to tell, tell you something about their results. The group number two maybe cannot explode so much, whatever. Do you understand? Right? This is the, the question, right? So it's important, yeah. Number the steps of the scientific method in the correct order. Remember, what is the first? What is the second? What is the third? What is the fourth? And the shared results is the last one, right? Remember the number one. Mm -hmm. Remember, theory can be the number one. Question number two, hypothesis, experiment, and shared results. Okay? Very good. Let's go to the other lesson. Lesson two. Lesson two. The lesson two. The lesson two uh, talk about the scientific detectives, right? Look at the picture. And we are going to see a scientific kit or scientific detective. Uh, I'm not going to read all just the classwork because I need it. I need some important information. Uh, and the question is, how does a scientist do his or her job? This is the first question. The investigators, the evidence, the conclusions, the artifacts are words that are important in the, the collecting, the observation, all of this. Okay, let's go to the classroom and read the questions. Pay attention. The scientists need to make different things and we are going to answer and discuss the questions. For example, a biologist who wants to know what kind of fish live in the lake will design an experiment, make observation, collect all the fish from the lake, what is the another of the book? For me, it's collect. Collect. Collect all the fish from the lake or make observation. How he's going to make the observation? Collect it, right? He needs to see the uh, fish, right? Number two, which of the following is an example of collecting evidence? A geologist gathering rocks from the mountain site a paleontologist cleaning fossils, a botanist a clipping leaves from plants. Which of the following is an example of collecting evidence? All of the above. This is the answer. A physicist wants to know whether salt water boils more quickly than tap water. So she designs an experiment, collects evidence from the ocean, Observe a chef cooking at a restaurant. And the last one I don't read it. Let me see if I read it in here. A physicist wants to know whether salt water boils more quickly than tap water. What he needs to make? Experiment. He needs to make an experiment and test, right? And see the time. And copy in one paper what's going on with the experiment. And then he's going to see the results, right? What kind of scientist will you want to be? Well, this is in your own words, right? Uh, I'm going to put in the evaluation some pictures of the different scientists, and you have to know the names. Paleontologists, archaeologists, botanists, uh, zoologists, uh, physicists. So you're going to see the picture, and you're going to tell me the name, and you're going to select in the evaluation. Super easy. You're going to know who... Uh, who is a doctor, who is a paleontologist, the different scientists, right? In uh, the lesson four, the lesson four, the 1.4 is under the log, under the log, under the log. It's okay, we are talking about insects. What is a log? It's a trunk or piece of wood on the ground during time, long time. And under the log, we have the habitat of the insects. Most of the insects, wet insects, yummy. 
leave, right? And we have a story about Austin and the uh, collecting evidence or collecting uh, in the graphic about the different kind of insects, right? The centipedes, millipedes, uh, beetles, uh, carpenter ants, and all the insects that you have to know, the worms, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so you have to know the name of the insects too, right? And let's go to the classroom. Okay, super easy. Use the graphic of the page 12. How many beetles group did Alex and Austin find? The boys found the same number of the boys found more millipedes than centipedes, right? Millipedes than centipedes. There were more under the log than any other type of insect. This is about the graphic, right? Mr. Marvin can put other graphic or the same graphic. Don't worry. Don't be don't be worried. Don't be scared. The evaluation is going to be super simple and super uh, related with the topic, right? We have some words, that, some questions that you have to answer. How did using a bar graph help Alex and Austin organize the information they collect? Because it's statistic, right? The results in numbers in the graphic are important. Why were not the boys so successful with the first log they tried? Because they were in other place looking for another small log and they didn't find the amount of insects they need. How did they solve their problem? So they were looking for other log, the bigger, and they found another amount of insects, right? And when the boys examined, examined the, their, their bar graph, Alex said, now we know the more termites live on their logs than any other type of meat insects. Explain why Alex cannot draw that conclusion. Right, you have to know the story. This question is not important, right? In the exam, you're not going to have the same questions, but I'm going to put other questions related about insects. You have to recognize the insects. You have to know what insect is, the name, and uh, you're going to select, choose, associate the different pictures and the different things that you're going to click on. En el otro mundo relajado, va a salir tranquilo. We're going to stay correct. We're going to stay uh, normal we are going to finish the evaluation and we are going to start the second partial because we need to advance love you so much thank you for the people that are responsible i'm sorry because i i couldn't give you online class because today you have exam of art good luck in your evaluations bye